Rob with your Bike Life's Mountain Bike Trail Preview. Today I have this awesome product, okay? If you're a mountain biker or a cyclist of any kind and you ever travel and you get sick of staying in hotels and you would rather camp, because camping's more fun, have I got the tent for you. You know, it takes a lot to get motorhomes ready, campers ready, tents ready. But this tent's a little different, and this tent goes up and folds down faster than anything I've ever seen, which makes camping a way better option if you're out for a race, if you're out for a long ride, if you're traveling to different places and riding different tracks. This is the perfect tent to bring along with you so that you don't have to spend a lot of time in the morning. You know, let's say you have a race, you get up in the morning, you got to be off your site by, you know, usually it's 11 or 12, and you're racing during that time. So you got to close up shop. Well, with this thing, you can close up shop quicker than you can blink your eye, and it's even faster to set up. So um, it's just a great option. I think uh, that's why I bought it, because um, and I was hoping that it was going to be what it was when I saw it online, and it is. It's amazing. So I'm going to show you guys this and do a little review on it. It's, uh, it's a four-person pop-up tent, and usually when you go with a four-person, it's usually really only a two-person. I really think I'm 5'10", I can fit in there with my wife next to me and a kid on either side, and we can fit in there comfortably. But if you're traveling with gear, it's a two-person tent because you're going to want your gear in the tent with you. I'm going to take you guys outside, and I'm going to show you how quick and easy this thing is to put up and to, to put back down and put it in its bag. So without uh, any more looking at this, we're going to look at the tent and get rocking. You're going to show you how this thing works. I'm excited. And before we do that, I want to let you know the kids love this thing. They make me set it up in their rooms. It barely fits in their rooms, but they, uh, they want to sleep in it every night. So we've been alternating. Can I have it in my room? Can I have it in my room? So anyway, here we go. We're going to go in the shade over here and do this. So this is the tent we're looking at. It's a Coleman pop-up tent. This is different than a normal pop-up tent. It does say four person on it. It does have a nice shield on the top to protect you from rain. So this actually has a little better rain protection. You have to have this on if it's raining because it actually has a nice top on it that allows you to, if it's a clear night, you can keep this off and you can, you know, stargaze as you can see down here. Comes out really easy, All right? So there's the tent, right there. All right, that's the tent. This is the bag, and this right here has the stakes. So inside the bag is a container with the stakes. You can see the stakes. Okay. If you need more durable stakes, if you're uh, planning on going in crazy weather, I would get some better stakes than that. This is the tent. It actually has a built-in strap to hold it together. You're probably asking me where the poles are. There are no poles. They're already in the tent. You take that off, right? I just did that, undid that strap, and then when you're ready, you just, boom. You just throw it. It landed upside down, and all you have to do is flip it around. Perfect. So just like that, tent's up already. You can keep the uh, rain guard on the top if you want. It does have Velcros on all the center points so that it stays. There's a nice tie down strap on both ends so you can really tie this down. It has all these anchor points around the tent to put the stakes in to remove the rain shield. It's really easy, you just unhook these from all the, the spots, one, two, three, four, so there's eight, eight of those. And then it just kind of nicely Velcros on the ends right here and on the other end. You saw how easy that was to put up. Now let's show you the space inside. So it has two doors, right? The door with the screen and then the door so you can block the rain. And we'll go in the tent. All right. My feet aren't touching. I lay down and my head is not touching. So I can lay this way in the tent and there's all this room over here, right? 
for a kid to sleep. My wife can sleep right here next to me. And then there's still all that room way over there. I can't even reach with my foot. We could fit four people in this tent easy. It's a nice tent, it goes up, like I said, super fast, it's amazing. If you're just camping with a buddy, mountain biking, I mean, you can obviously sleep the other way. And there's just a ton of room, I can't even, I can put my arms up over my head and my feet out and I can't touch the sides. So, I mean, you could be like a seven foot tall person and fit in this tent. And there's plenty of room over here for someone else to sleep if you wanted to sleep this way. But this way would be a two person tent. The other way you could get four people as long as you're not over six foot. If you're over six foot, then you're gonna have to sleep the way I'm, I am right now. It's got a little bag in here so you can put your cell phone and your keys and everything else in there. I'm gonna show you how to fold this bad boy up and how easy it is. This tent is awesome. You wanna make sure the door zip close. And I don't like to zip this one because air comes out of this easier when you fold it up and it's easier to fold it back together. So the easiest way to explain to put this tent back is to fold it up like a taco and set it on one end. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab all these points and just kind of fold it up. Kind of doing it slow for you, right? Just get them all touching each other. And then, like I said, you put it on its end, like this. Once you get it on its end, all you have to do is bring this down underneath like this. So I'm pulling the top toward the bottom, but then what you're gonna do is you're gonna let one side slide inside the other side up where your other hand is. So you see how I'm letting that slide in that way? That's what you're gonna do. So fold this down and then let one side slide in and it just goes basically to how you had it when you started. Take the strap, the strap right over, make sure it's centered, right? Like that. <laughs> the dang thing's ready to go back in the bag. So now you see what I mean by how quick it is to put up and take down, especially if you're in a race and you don't want to, you know, you're you can spend a little more time preparing for your race than taking down camp. And you can see, it's one of the only tents that goes right back in its bag without a fuss. You know, you obviously wanna make sure you don't get any of the tent in there, but it's as easy as that. Pretty awesome. If you do have questions, leave them in the comments. I'll answer them. One thing that I did think about was if you are on a backpacking trip, it might not be the best tent uh, because it is a circle. This would be better if you're driving and you can throw it right in the car and go to your next destination. Although I have thought it might work if you could side attach it to your backpack and it can kind of go under your arm when you're riding your bike. You could probably do it that way, but uh, I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> so again, thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything that we have coming.